burr, burr. God damn, it's gonna be cold tonight. Five years ago, I started hunting mule deer in the Sawtooth Wilderness of Idaho, a 13-hour drive from my home in Oregon. Where my camp is located, there are no stores and no gas stations, so everything I need for the month-long hunt has to be transported in by me. I had some pretty tough living conditions in the early years. One season, I pitched this Kelty tent in 75-degree weather, had it almost destroyed by a windstorm a week later, and nearly froze to death in it a week after that when it snowed and the temperature dropped to 10 degrees, all while my brother-in-laws were living next door to me in the lap of heated luxury in their wall tents with wood-burning stoves. But two years ago I finally wised up and ordered my own wall tent and stove from Rich Tuck at the wall tent shop in Moscow, Idaho. My Wilderness 3 is an airtight stove with a firebox capacity of 2.17 cubic feet. It's manufactured from heavy gauge steel and it is built like an Abrams tank. And Rich doesn't just sell the Selkirk spike tent and wilderness wood stove that I bought from him. He also designed them. Okay, so it's uh, Tuesday evening. Waited for the wind to die down. I'm gonna burn in my new stove, hopefully. The stove is from the Wall tent shop, Moscow, Idaho. Brand new, unfortunately, the metal water heater box I ordered with it when I took it out of the packing was like all bent, bent to crap, damaged. I'm gonna contact them when I get back home, I guess. I don't know, I'll see what I can do with it. But So is this damper open now? It's open, straight up is open? Okay, and I've got this one basically uh, well, that's all the way open, almost. So, what do you think? Just a little paper and a little kindling? Yep. Bar stack it. Bar stack it? Go ahead. You bar stack it. I'll, I'll watch you. Oh. <laughs> wow. For once it works. And that's dry paper. That's out of the back of my Explorer took from home. When you hear that first snap, crackle, pop of that wood and I'm not hearing it. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Back in yours. Yeah. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> ah. Is it, is it popping? What are you trying to do? Just get all the air to draw up through the stack? Yeah, to come through here and suck it. But that's not open, is it? Yeah. That's not open. You can't see the fire. Oh, that is that open? You've got a bath here. Oh, you so got that's a spark so guard. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. That's a spark guard. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah you want to suck the air here and then. Cool. Yeah, I might just put a pot of beans on that thing. <laughs> it's gonna be out here for a few hours doing this. I'd say she's going. Okay. We're now burning in. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. That's, that's a beautiful sight, man. And the snow flies and the temperature drops down into the teens. I can uh, smell the paint over here. Yeah, I saw some rolling off there, so that's good. Yeah, you would not want to be in the tent when that stuff Wouldn't is. Is this a glossy or rich? Yeah. Or no? A glossy? Yeah, the paint soda. Mm. No, the, but I can see it changing. I can see it. See it changing all right. 
It was kind of a flat black, but she's kind of. Now I can see it smoking. Yeah, you can see it's kind of turning. Yeah. <laughs> Inside, I can see smoke coming out. You can smell it. Oh yeah. Toxic. Real nice little stove. Finally, there she goes. Finally. That's what we like to see and hear. The sound of crackle. No smoke, lots of flame. 